cry. I'm gonna cry. I brought my computer stuff. We had to sit on a train for an hour or so. They didn't give us crap last time. Now I gotta find a locker, assuming it fits. I think it's like 10 bucks. So that's not bad considering it's Disney. It'll be interesting. Just find out. It's fascinating. It's fascinating to be here at Disneyland because, in fact, the reason we have the way it looks, I mean, beyond all this other stuff, but the reason of the placement of the gates and the train station is actually to block the facade of what's behind us. So we're here. We actually got in. We got tickets. I never thought I would get this. I never thought I'd get this moment. 22 freaking years waiting to come out here. And I remember, I remember one time when I was a kid, we came out here with my dad, and instead of coming here to Anaheim, we went to Universal City, because screw Disney World, and we went to City Walk instead. I'll never forget that. Okay, so being here in the middle, it's so cool. I, I'm, I'm already lost it. It's like totally different from Disney World, because Disney World's a lot more, I don't want to say open, because there's a lot of space up there, but right here, it's really condensed, because there would be where the Crystal Palace is, but it's this Jolly Holiday, uh, Bakery Cafe, and then you'd head over what well, looks like Frontierland, but you'd immediately go to Adventureland. Frontierland, you'd have to go through Via Liberty Square, which of course here it's New Orleans Square, which is a different part. Blah blah, this that blah. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It's probably the lamest, stupidest Fantasyland ride ever. But you're gonna see my fat little uh, weirdo butt get on this because I don't know what that is. It's a new ride to me. I've never heard of it. <laughs> Okay, so fascinating thing. I got the fast pass. It's 11:30. This literally is for noon. Ah, I'm running out of people. I almost killed somebody. To be fair, she kind of just went straight at me, so it was like we we're both being stupid. Boop, 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 boop. Oh my goodness! So right up there, that platform, that is the old-fashioned people mover. The people mover was right there. At one point or another, they got rid of it. I actually do not remember the reason why the people mover was getting rid of. You see that door right there? That actually was the door to go in. It was a, a spiral staircase up onto the track. Now, they got rid of the people mover, I believe, in the late 80s, I want to say. And I know for a fact, sometime during the 90s, ooh, I'm sorry, huh? Right when I was born. Right around the time I was born, 95, 93, some, sometime in the mid-90s, they built a uh, these jet ones. I don't remember exactly what it was, but they would go flying down the track and certain parts go really fast. Now, you're probably wondering why they got rid of that. Actually, interesting thing, it caused too much structural damage. Now, again, engineering student, which that obviously means I'm not very good at what I do, but you get my point. I'm terrible at engineering, <laughs> but every engineer is no engineer's confident. If you meet a confident engineer, they're lying or they're a freshman. Don't, don't believe them. But we can see us in front. Now, if you ever notice anything mean, you ever watch one of my videos, anything, 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 I'm always stopped at the beginning. Is it a curse or is it a blessing? You tell me. When we get to go to the front. I've never been here, so I know. I look like a tourist. I just slide all the way forward. Oh my goodness. And about. Oh, Peter, don't cross the boxes there. The scary stuff is almost human life. <laughs> oh, I get nervous when I come through here, but. Oh my goodness. Look at the tiger! That's New Orleans. <laughs> That's pirates right there. The fast pass system here in this park sucks, but in a great way. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? So here's the thing: the fast pass for the the the, 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 the ma, ma, whatever horn. Um, that yeah, the Swiss thing. Um, that thing kicked in for an hour after we got, or not even an hour, like 55 minutes, right? Okay, fair enough. Maybe it's just the morning, but the line was like 40 minutes or 12 or 15, whatever it said. But look long. I don't know how this park works. I don't know if everybody's lying to me or if everybody loves me and is secretly my day. Is it my time to shine? I want to say it is. Now, here's the thing. It's literally like 1219. We walk up to the fast pass, and literally, if you can read that. Now, I know, nobody hears a, nobody hears a genius, right? But, it says 1225. That was literally, I mean, because it hit 1220 when we scanned the little tickets. That is literally five minutes from now, and it's 12 o'clock. How does that system work? Look, we didn't have that thing in Florida. In fact, if you went to Disney World, you'd be waiting 18 hours or something for a ticket. Like literally, Space Mountain at noon would be like 10 p.m. every single time. Oh, this is a tiny tunnel. Oh my goodness, I, I'm i not gonna film it because there's POVs on the internet, but we're gonna have so much fun, you have no idea. Oh, there we go! That was awesome. Yep, yep, yep. We got Space Mountain ones. Now, these ones are actually for a little later, but again, not what I'm used to. 3.15, I was like, what? The line's only 30 minutes. <laughs> Is this park okay? To be honest, this Thunder Mountain has a really cool queue line. And at Disney World, they updated it, but it's really just kind of like you're indoors and you're under a bunch of fans and you got like a couple things to play with. All right, Disney, real challenge. If you built a railroad and it's supposed to be from the 1800s, is it standard gauge or narrow gauge? Riddle me. Is this the wildest ride in the wilderness? Yes. We're actually in California, so it is wilderness. Is this scary? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, dude, that 
That's cool. Which one's better? Disney World or Disneyland? I think Disneyland. I agree. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now we go from Golden Horseshoe to Nolan Square. The main guy, Mr. Gracie, was actually named after, I believe, I want to say his name was like Yale Gracie. He was actually the main Imagineer on the Bride Project, and that's why they named the main host Mr. Gracie. The ride's interesting, the line's moving, I don't know. It's one of those lines where people kind of cut me, I just kind of go, whatever, because it's not a big deal. Now, I'll tell you what, like, like if you go to Disney World and people are cutting you in Space Mountain, you just, you, you smack them in their place. You go, no. Because let me tell you, it looks nice because you're walking through and you see the, sorry. Thank you. It's like, see my point? No, Bobby. But you do in Space Mountain. No, 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 not Disney World. It's great. Hi, everybody. How's it going? 35 weight. What does that mean? There. Yeah. I was saying you should think you are. That's, that's, that's clever. Yeah. Mines are on you, Club 33. You ain't as clever as you think. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. How about we invest everything we have into a, certain, into a bunch of different companies, and after 50 years, we become billionaires, and we get ourselves on the list, and after 10 years of waiting, we can be in the freaking list finally. Or we just run for president. One of the two. That's the only way you can get in. Oh. Everywhere, be a very wary bear. bear. What? Oh my goodness, I found him! Ryan, you're a genius! I thought that was amazing. I would have missed it, thank you so much. I would have cried and asked to do it ten more times. Hey, Ryan, you're a genius. Thank you so much. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, why? There's a woman over there wearing a poncho. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this is like a de- This place is literally built in a desert-ish area. Plains desert? It don't rain out here. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. This is the track to the original train that came through here. So before Thunder Mountain, there was a mine train that took you around Frontierland. And that's what Frontierland was. Okay. So I know it's weird for like two like grown kids like want to ride like a five-year-old train, but you gotta understand, never done it. Mommy didn't love me enough to take me here when I was a kid, so I flew 3,000 miles just to do this stuff. I want to do the Disney thing. Dude. Okay, so we're going cock up for Goofy Puffs because interestingly enough, I'm looking at the app and I'm like looking at all the rides and it's like the bobsleds are broken down, the California screen's broken down, the Cars ride's broken down. I think one of the other mounts is broken down. Uh, it was like half the rides are broken down. I'm like, I'm sorry, did, did, did I travel back to 1955? Is this opening day? Did everything break?
a green light on this, so that means if we got a green light on our tracks, that means it's solid, it means there's nothing on here. I mean, there's not even a red below, so it's just pure green, so we're like solid, solid, solid. And so, I'm waiting for the damn choo-choo. Now, choo-choo is supposed to come at nine o'clock. Are we in the right area? Because there's no train, but there's a train on the other side. And sure enough, slowly an Amtrak comes in, like right now, there it is. Get your shits, get your shits, get your shits. Choo-choo coming board. Northern backwards, I think it's coming from the front. So, I gotta board the train with Taco Bell, of course, because I didn't even have a box. Holy, holy crap, that's not, wait. That's not a part of this train, that's a part of the uh, San Joaquin, I think. Or the, it's, it's either part of the San Joaquin or the Coast Starlight, but I think it's the San Joaquin because those are the only three, oh uh, well, no, it could be the Capitol Corridor. I don't know, I'm getting the hell in. What, so is this a cafe car? We get in, right? Where's everybody standing here? Maybe they're waiting for family. I, I don't know. Uh, look at that, Ryan. Eating Taco Bell on a beautiful train. Remember, forget everything you know, except for fine dining and breathing.